Hey guys, what is going on today? I hope you guys are doing well today and I wanna welcome you back to another episode of The Fragrance Well. Barbershop scents, that's right, barbershop scents. We're gonna talk about some of them today. What is a barbershop scent? Uh, in layman's terms, it's basically a fragrance that would remind you of some of the smells you would smell in a barbershop. Some of the typical things you're gonna find in a more traditional barbershop scent are gonna be notes like lavender, you might find some spices, some fresh spices. You also might find things like oak moss or fir. Uh, you might also find things like um, woody notes. So basically fresh to woody to spicy kind of aromatic sometimes is gonna give you the traditional barbershop scent. These are things probably your, your father or your grandfather wore, but there are also modern day style scents that still kind of capture that barbershop essence. We're gonna talk about some of them right now. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, in this list I've compiled today, I've got a good mixture of classic barbershop style scents and also some newer scents that many might not actually consider barbershop style scents, so you could call them curveballs, and also some modern ones. Uh, before I get started, I do think I need to mention two honorable mentions that I, only reason I don't have them in the list is because I actually don't own bottles of them. First, that's from Mason Margiela, that's gonna be At The Barbers. Obviously, that one's gonna be reminiscent of a barbershop style scent because it's in the name. And also from uh, Mason Francis Kirkjohn, Masculine Pluriel. I think that is a great modern take on a barbershop style scent. So I know what both of them smell like, I just don't have full bottles of them yet, so I'm not gonna feature them in the list. Okay, so let's get started with a true classic version of a barbershop style scent. Coming from the house of Aramis, it's just Aramis. Aramis Eau de Toilette. I actually have the concentrate version, but from what I can tell, there's not that much of a difference between this and just the regular bottle. You can see the frosted bottle looks a little different than the regular Eau de Toilette bottle. Aldehydes are Tamisia, Thyme, Bergamot, Clover, Gardenia, Clary Sage, Cardamom, Clove, Jasmine, Myrtle, Orris Root, Tree Moss, Vetiver, Leather, Amber, Musk, Sandalwood, Patchouli, and Coconut. I have a sentimental connection to this scent because this is the scent of my grandfather. He wore this plenty and I, every time I smell it, I just get memories of my grandfather wearing it and doing things with him. The scent's been around for a long time and I think it should be because this is just very reminiscent of what a classic masculine barbershop style scent is. This one's more aldehydic, so more of that kind of fresh, clean uh, feeling. Aldehyde's something that not everybody really jives with, but definitely more of a classic take on a barbershop style scent. I would have loved to smell this in its heyday, but uh, I'm glad it's still around for us to experience these days. Uh, and I really love how this comes across. It's just, it, it's still very good quality even to this day. Classic barbershop fragrance, Aramis Eau de Toilette. Next up, let's do a more modern barbershop fragrance, but still keeps that mostly traditional style of barbershop fragrance in its DNA. Coming from the house of Jimmy Choo, this is Jimmy Choo, Man Intense. Jimmy Choo Man Intense. This is actually the first fragrance I bought when I started collecting. This one has lavender, honeydew melon, mandarin orange, geranium, black pepper, divana, cystus absolute patchouli, and tonka bean. So like I mentioned, lavender being a note that's very present in this, it also features a little bit of spice. And what you'll notice with a lot of the more modern takes on these kind of barbershop style scents is they're gonna add a little bit of sweetness to them. This one is not overly sweet, but it has a very nice underlying sweetness to it along with the fresh spice and the lavender. You know, not the most popular fragrance, but it is a very easy to wear one, great for the barbershop vibe, and honestly, it's not that expensive either. I accidentally played full retail for this because I didn't know about discounters yet, but I'm still glad I got it, you know, and I'm gonna keep it around because I do think it is a nice, modern take on a barbershop style scent. Check it out if you haven't, Jimmy Choo Man Intense. All right, let's take it back to another classic one. Let's take it to the probably the most famous, most well-known barbershop scent from the 80s. From the house of Guy La Roche, Dracar Noir. Yep, you've definitely heard about this one. Uh, you hear about it a lot because it's, you know, just the, the fragrance of the 80s, if you will, but uh, it's also a barbershop scent, so that's why it's gonna make this list. Tricar Noir has lavender, lemon, lemon vervain, artemisia, basil, bergamot, rosemary, coriander, juniper, carnation, jasmine, cinnamon, oak moss, cedarwood, fir, leather, patchouli, sandalwood, vetiver, and amber. 
the quintessential barbershop scent because it features all of those notes I mentioned in the beginning of the video that you will typically find in a lot of barbershop scents. The lavender, the fir, the oak moss, and some fresh spices. Another fragrance that has obviously stood the test of time coming out in the early 80s still smells really great to this day in my opinion. Particularly if you were someone who grew up with barbershop style scents, you're gonna like one like this. This one might be a little bit harder for newer, younger guys, but you know, hey, that's okay. I still think it's one you should check out so you can at least be familiar with that style of fragrance. I do think Dracar Noir is one of the best uh, offerings in terms of learning what a barbershop style scent is and what it can be. Dracar Noir from Guy La Roche. Amazing classic barbershop style scent. Next up, I got one here from the House of Burberry. Probably the most popular Burberry fragrance in its history. They're still trying to recapture some of that magic they got with this one. This is Burberry Touch. This was probably, make sure you guys can see it, okay? This is probably the fragrance of the turn of the century in terms of being an affordable, great option that just worked for everyone. This features violet leaf, mandarin orange, divana, nutmeg, white pepper, Virginia cedar, tonka bean, white musk, and vetiver. What's interesting about this one is it doesn't feature those things like lavender or the oak moss. So it is a modern, different take on a barbershop style scent, but it just really works for that style of fragrance. This was one that my dad wore a lot and still wears to this day. And when I would smell it, it still does give me barbershop vibes in a different way. It has kind of a powdery cleanliness to it. Uh, the fresh spice is very nice in this one. It's also a very interesting and unique scent. I really haven't smelled anything else that kind of comes close to this and smell it again. Yeah, I still, I just had to have this in my collection for sentimental reasons alone. And also I just think it was a home run for the house of Burberry. Burberry Touch, can get it for very cheap. Check it out if you haven't. Okay, let's take it back to another classic style barbershop scent, another classic, heavily masculine, put hair on your chest kind of scent. From the house of Azaro, Azaro Pour Ohm. This is a tester bottle, so I do not have a cap. I actually had never smelled this one before I got it, so this was a blind buy. And when I got it in, I was like, oh yeah, that is a hairy chested man scent. This one has lavender, basil, aniseed, clary sage, bergamot, caraway, lemon, iris, cedarwood, sandalwood, cardamom, juniper berry, vetiver, patchouli, musk, oak moss, amber, leather, and tonka bean. So again, we introduce the lavender in the top, but this one, is very, very spicy. Uh, definitely a more spicy take on that classic barbershop style scent. To me, actually, the spices kind of take the foreground with this one versus the lavender and the woods. Fragrances like this stick around for a reason because a lot of people will still buy them and still wear them. And also the great thing is, you know, they're very affordable for uh, guys like us to really just kind of experience them. You know, I think it is good to experience fragrances of yesteryear particularly ones that have stuck around this long because you can kind of see where fragrances have come from, uh, what these were great for in that time. And again, you know, just a classic mas masculine barbershop style scent. Uh, speaks of masculinity and cleanliness. Also, you know, with with the heavy woods and the heavy spices, got a little bit of a kind of a funk to them. Not not a not a bo kind of funk, but they just carry some weight to them. Check it out if you haven't. If nothing else, it's just a good thing to experience. That's a little more interesting, a little bit different than what you're typically gonna find these days. And like I said, it doesn't cost a whole lot of money. Azaro Pour Ohm. Okay, and let's take it back to a modern take on a barbershop style scent coming from the house of Tom Ford. This is Beau De Jour. Tom Ford Beau De Jour, a modern take on a classic masculine barbershop scent. This one features lavender, cape snowbush, geranium, oak moss, basil, patchouli, and amber. When you first spray this, it is a lavender bomb. Uh, if you haven't smelled it before, that's probably the only thing you're gonna smell is lavender. But once that lavender kind of calms down, it dries down to a nice, sweet, uh, smoothly sweet, uh, almost kind of powdery amber base with a little bit of patchouli and like the oak moss in this is not super forward. It's, it's, it's tamed back. So if you're someone who doesn't really like oak moss uh, to be kind of at the foreground of a fragrance, this might be a good one to check out, particularly if you're trying to experience a barbershop style scent. The main thing that kind of gives this the modern take on a barbershop style scent is that little bit of sweetness on the dry down. But again, very lavender forward and just a nice mixture of amber and patchouli in the dry down with a little bit of powderiness, just a touch. 
a great compliment getter. This one lasts a long time. So, which is also indicative of a lot of barbershop style scents of yesteryears is they had great lasting power. Tom Ford, hats off to you on this one. Great modern rendition of a barbershop style scent. Tom Ford Boat is your, check it out if you haven't. Okay, let's get into the Curveball Barbershop fragrances. Many of these might not necessarily be considered a barbershop fragrance by some or might not have thought of it as such. First one's gonna be coming from the house of Christian Dior. This is Dior Homme 2020. Dior Homme 2020 release. The reason I put this on here is because in many ways it reminds me of a sweeter version of an Aramis and also because this scent is so versatile it can obviously work in the barbershop and it also kind of has that clean woody, clean woodiness to it, which is indicative of a barbershop style scent. This one has pink pepper, bergamot, elemi resin, atlas cedar, patchouli, Haitian vetiver, and musk. Again, for me, that rem reminiscence to what Aramis smells like, but a sweeter take on it and also just kind of a less heavy take on it is why I chose to put this one in this list. I've actually never worn it to a barbershop, but as I was kind of smelling the fragrances uh, I was putting together for this list, uh, this one has similarities to those scents. So I had to put it in here and I think it also being a very versatile fragrance, it just makes sense that it can also be worn as a barbershop fragrance. And like I said, the woodiness of it is what puts it into that category. Dior Homme 2020, great modern, slightly different take on a barbershop scent. All right, I got one more here from the house of Christian Dior, and this one might come as a surprise. This is Savage Elixir from Dior. Very popular release from 2020. And what really ties this one into that barbershop DNA is the spices and the lavender. This has nutmeg, cardamom, cinnamon, grapefruit, lavender, coumarin, licorice, and broxen woods, patchouli, and Haitian vetiver. Again, this is obviously a more spicy take on a barbershop style scent, but it's the way the spices and the lavender are used in this fragrance that A, give it that kind of 80s vibe that many people talk about and thus actually makes it a barbershop style scent. This, uh, if you smell this next, to, smell this uh, side by side with uh, Dracar Noir, you'll notice some similarities. It's not necessarily what I would call inspired by Dracar Noir, maybe it is, it's certainly not a clone of it, but it is done in that style of that classic, slightly sweet and very spice heavy barbershop style scent that was very popular at that time. Obviously well known for being an absolute monster with projection and longevity. Uh, very expensive, unfortunately. You do see this popping up on discounters a little bit more, but it's still an expensive buy. But this fragrance is so strong, you don't need so much of it. I would just go for the smaller bottle unless you just really want the bigger bottle. Absolute great release from the house of Christian Dior and a modern take on a barbershop style scent, Sauvage Elixir. And we've made it to the last fragrance on this list, also a curveball fragrance, one that people probably don't think of as a barbershop style scent. Coming from the house of Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc Legend. This is the Eau de Parfum in particular. I think uh, any of the legend concentrations would work for this list because they all are very reminiscent of Abercrombie and Fitch's Fierce. Bergamot, violet leaf, jasmine, woody notes, oak moss, magnolia, and leather. So like I said, this one is a little bit of a curveball because you don't really think of this one as a barbershop style scent. But again, if you smell it side by side with a lot of the fragrances I featured in today's list, you're gonna notice some similarities. This one doesn't necessarily have lavender, but it does have a fresh, clean feel to it along with a little bit of sweetness. That Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce DNA may sound like it's a little played out, but it still sells today. And then Mont Blanc Legend basically copied it and it sells very well for them too. Uh, very versatile fragrance that does garner compliments and passes as a barbershop style scent. Mont Blanc Legend, I'd probably go for this one since it is cheaper than Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. And I think I've heard people say that the newer formulations of Fierce just don't really hit the same. So you might as well just go for the cheaper version of it. Mont Blanc Legend, Definitely a modern take on a barbershop style fragrance. All right, thanks for tuning in today, guys. That's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, let me know in the comments below, do you like barbershop style fragrances? Are there some you would add to this list? Uh, let's get the conversation going. Remember, fragrances are an open dialogue. Thanks again for tuning in today, and I hope to see you in the next episode of The Fragrance Well. Take care.